I'm John Hanna for CDT Bidanet here in New York City, and we have Greg Womack, President of Womack Investment Advisors, joining us from Edmond, Oklahoma. Good afternoon, Greg. Hello, John. How are you this week? Great, sir. Great, sir. And you? Doing well. We're, we're getting spring weather down here in Oklahoma, and the allergies are flaring and raring to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to yeah. start soon here, too, in New York. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Maryland you know, last week, and... Um, and, and the weather was nice up in Maryland on the east, eastern shore. Very good weather. There you go. Did you have a good time? Were relaxing and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love, love Maryland area. And, of course, the crab cakes and all the seafood. How's the food? Oh, wonderful. Uh, it's some of the best crab cakes ever. And, uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to have to order some to have them shipped to me. They're so good. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we left our mark in Maryland and tried to help that economy out, but... Uh, Love, love to go to the Eastern Shore. It's a nice area. There you go. No, what, what about the? Uh, I always ask you this whenever you go out, out out of town. What about the local shops there? What, what do you see so far? Well, um, my wife frequented the mall a couple times, but uh, I didn't ask her about the traffic. But as far as the restaurants and uh, um, you know the, the the venues that we went to were were well attended and uh, looked like retail was was still doing okay. Um, of course, the hotel we stayed at was was fairly busy as well. So, um, you know, seemed to be um, you know the economy seems to be doing fairly decent at least in that area. All right. So, sir, so what do you have for us uh, for the uh, market week? Well, you know, last week um, we started to see a little chink in the armor with the markets. Uh, the uh, Russell 2000 uh, small cap took it on the chin. Other indices were, were more or less held their own. The Dow actually finally managed to close above 13,000, which it hadn't done since May 2008, but it couldn't hang on through the end of the week. And the NASDAQ continued uh, its pace to out the paces to mex- domestic peers. You know, As of last week, the Dow was up around 6.22%, NASDAQ up 14 and S&P up almost 9%, 8.91%. So, um, you know, this week, John, uh, you know, I kind of mentioned last week, you know, I've been in kind of anticipating some kind of pullback. You know, we've had some significant move in the market over the last few months without any really significant pullback. And so a 5 to 10% correction would well be in order and, and actually well received uh, to hopefully, you know, longer term uptrend. But, uh, you know, the Dow is, uh, as of today, which is Tuesday, March 6, around 12, uh, excuse me, 1 p.m. Eastern time, the Dow was uh, was off roughly about 170 points, which represents, um, as through Tuesday of today, uh, about a 1% pullback from last Friday's close. And uh, the S&P is a down about 20 points this week, which is a down about 1.8%. So a, a 5 to 10% pullback, um, you know, may be a little much too much to ask, but, uh, you know, we could definitely see at least a 5% pullback potentially. Um, and that, you know, the long-term support on the S&P would be 1,260, which is currently trading at, um like I said, at one one thousand two hundred and thirty some dollar range, the Dow is, um, you know, of course, trading at around twelve thousand seven ninety, off about one percent this week. Uh, I see twelve thousand as kind of a longer term support, and that's around the two hundred day moving average. Um, if we don't see a pullback to that degree, then Somewhere between current levels and that 12,000, the 50-day moving average being in the neighborhood of about uh, 12,640 on the Dow. So, you know, another one to two to three, who knows, four percent pullback in these indices. Um, like I said, would be welcomed, and uh, you know, we're getting a lot of concern um, out of you know, with Greece uh, potential. Um, problems, of course, there, and then how that was going to affect Europe. And then we had China this week coming out saying they're, lo- they're lowering their forecast growth to 7.5% this year. And so um, that is kind of that's putting pressure on, on metals and commodities and uh, even oils down uh, a couple of dollars today as well. 
uh, you know, they're still trying to figure out over in Europe how to, um, you know, impose greater physical discipline. Uh, in, the, in the Germans voted to uh, support the second Greek bailout, and uh, the Eurozone finance ministers agreed to release new funds for the permanent European stability mechanism, they call it, um, that will handle uh, financial assistance efforts. And so they're continuing to try to shore things up there uh, to maintain liquidity in the financial system as uh, Greece continues to unwind. Our economy here, um, you know, the, the last week was announced that the economy grew at an annual rate of 3% in the fourth quarter of 2011, which is a more rapid pace than the 2.8% that was previously estimated. Um, and also orders for durable goods such as autos, appliances, and furniture actually fell 4% in January after three straight monthly increases. But we did have U.S. manufacturing continue to expand in February for the 31st straight month, though at a, slow, a slightly lo slower pace. And um, the recent increase in the housing sales really didn't translate into higher prices in December the S&P Case-Shiller National Index showed home prices at their lowest levels since the mid-2006. Uh, the index was, o was down almost 34% from its quarter to 2006 peak. So it's still a buyer's market out there, John. You know, historically uh, low prices for real estate and homes and historically low prices for uh, mortgage rates, so uh, an excellent time to buy. As we look ahead, I think the markets will continue to see um, you know, whether at least 30% of Greece's bondholders formally accept the bond swapped offer on Thursday, and the U.S. unemployment numbers and Eurozone GDP data will also be of interest this week. Uh, we have coming out tomorrow is the labor productivity cost, and then on the ninth, we have the unemployment payrolls and then balance of trade. Here again, as I said last week, you know, um, be patient and look, you know, be, be building a list of your, your favorite stocks. And, uh, you know, I anticipate we could get a little bit more pullback. Uh, who knows? But that's my thoughts at this time. There you go. That's Greg Womack, president of Womack Investment Advisors, joining us from Edmond, Oklahoma. And I'm John Hanna for CBTV.net in New York City.